Hello students, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about orthographic predictions of solids. I am considering a question 6 from exercise 13a. The question is, the square pyramid all edges of the base equally inclined to HP and the axis parallel to and 50 mm away from both HP and VP. Let's write down the question and start the problem. Here I have extracted the given data from the question, the square pyramid side 40 and axis 65, all the base edges equally inclined to HP and VP and your axis parallel to HP and VP and maintaining a gap of 50 mm from both planes. So let's start the problem. So for getting the 50 mm from both planes, I'll be starting 50 mm from this and 50 mm from this. 50 mm and 50 mm. So this is the center point of creating the square pyramid of side 40. So I have to start as base square over here because the all these edges are equally inclined to HP. So I have to maintain the 45 degrees from the drafter. Right from here I have to draw like this. So the side is 40, so I'll be taking uh, 20 over here. So by this we have finished uh, this base because it's a pyramid I can see the all the faces. So these are the face edges. These are the face edges and let's name them because this is a side view I have to keep a double dash. This gap is also 50 but I am not mentioning over here, I will mention over here and here. Have to project this. For projecting from side view to the top view or other views, I'll be taking the 45 degrees line or else you can follow the arc method or else a diagonal line from here and straight like this. So but um, the most convenient over here is the 45 degrees line for this one, this type of problems.
I'm just getting the projectors from side views to the top. Then I'll start with the figure over here, the top view, the front view. Now I'm going for the front view over here. This line is the base and the length of the axis would be the 65. Here, when you project from this direction, you can see this A dash and O1 line. So this one would be the A1 and C, then O1. Same here. Now let's name them. Coming to this projector, this would be B dash. And looking in this direction, first A dash is uh, seen, next C dash, A dash, comma C dash. This one would be O2 dash, and this one O1 dash, and remaining this would be the D dash. Coming to this one, this would be C. In this direction, B is seen first, next D. So here, B comma D, next last one. This one would be A and this one O2 and O1. And uh, here I can't uh, represent the 50 mm gap over here. So I'll be maintaining that uh, here. For this I'll erase this extra portion. Fifty mm from HP and fifty mm from the VP here. You can see the dimensions that is exact fifty, exact fifty. 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 So we are by this we have finished the problem. Uh, square pyramid in this situation and maintaining the all the conditions or criteria given from the question and uh, i think you understand this problem thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel and regularly follow it for uh, updates in engineering drawing thank you